There's an old joke, two elderly men are at a Catskill Mountain resort. And one of them says, boy, the food in this place is really terrible. And the other one says, yeah I know, and such small portions. That's essentially how I feel about life. Full of loneliness and misery and suffering and unhappiness, and it's over much too quickly. The other important joke for me is one that's usually attributed to Grouch O. Marx, but it I think it appears originally in Freud's wit and its relation to the unconscious. And it goes like this, I'm paraphrasing. I would never want to belong to any club that would have someone like me for a member. That's the key joke of my adult life in terms of my relationships with men. You know lately the strangest things have been going through my mind, cuz, I turned 40, and I guess I'm going through a life crisis or something. I dunno. And I'm not worried about aging, I'm not one of those characters, although. I've noticed some fine lines, that's about the worst you can say about me. I think I'm going to look fabulous at 60, a little wrinkled but sophisticated. I think I'll be the stylish mature type, as opposed to say the dignified gray for instance. You know. Unless I'm neither of those two. Unless I'm one of those women with a handbag full of cats, who wanders into a cafe ranting about antiques. Alvi and I broke up. And. And I still can't get my mind around that. You know I keep sifting the pieces of the relationship through my mind, and, and examining my life and trying to figure out where did the screw-up come, you know? And a year ago we were, in love, you know? And, and, and it's funny, I'm not. I'm not a morose type. I'm not a depressive character. I, uh, I was a reasonably happy kid. I was brought up in Brooklyn during World War II.